Hey Facebook friends, this is Amy and I am going to share with you how I have been able to build a successful network marketing business. Yesterday I shared why I did it, so if you're wondering, okay, why would you ever do such a thing, go back to yesterday. If you're not sure, ask me and I will tag you in the comments. Um, but first of all, I need to address something really important. Guys, we're all friends here. We're best friends. And nobody told me I had lipstick smeared all over my lips yesterday. I realized after the fact. Yeah. So make sure you tell me. Now, I know today some of you are like, what's going on with your hair? This is my beach wave look, a.k.a. air dry. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to the details because you know and I know I remember seeing those videos right like you see these you all have sat through a presentation at one time or another right uh, I mean I have even bef way before Plex I've sat through those things and you see these people and they've reached the top and they've done all these things and you're like okay are they paid actors what did they do I don't know you know like you wonder or you see all these people and you're like okay how did you do it? Like, how come? And this is a question I still want to know, too. I think I kind of got the answer just doing it long enough, but especially when I started, I was like, why is not everybody doing this? It is so brilliant. And why do some people succeed and some people not? Yeah, see, thank you, Laura. You get it. Okay. Um, I hardly ever dry my hair, by the way. It just let it dry and then I curl it. Um, but anyway, so why do some people succeed and want, and some people not? It's not what you think it is. Like, I know some of you are thinking, well, Amy, it's because you're just so beautiful and you have all these friends and you had all this money to shower out and, you know, you live in a, an area where it's, it's uh, everybody already knows about it or nobody knows about it. I've heard either one. I promise you, none of those things are true. <laughs> in fact, almost all of those things are not true. I had just left a church that I loved when I first started. I felt like I had no friends. I did, but you know how you're feeling. I felt worse than ever. Um, I'm not known for my consistency, shockingly enough. I'm really not known for my um, work ethic either. I'm just being honest. Um, these are all things that I've had to grow in. Um, I did not have any extra money. I, if you've watched yesterday, you'll see that I, did, I had no extra money at all and I had no experience. No, and some people are like, oh, you're so great at sales. Actually, nope, not, not great at sales, never did sales again in my life. I was a teacher before. So let me just promise you, everything that you, like every reason that you think you can or cannot do this or somebody can or cannot, there's always somebody who's overcome that. I mean, there just is. So I'm just going to give you a quick four reasons why I was successful, why I am successful, why I'm going to continue to be successful, and why truly anybody who wants this can be. I can tell you though real quick that I have a really good knack for telling if someone's going to succeed or not. I really do and I, I could share with you after. Um, but I really can tell a lot of times just by something I'll tell you at the end. Okay. So hi Lucy. Hi Julie. Good to see you guys. Um, so let me tell you. Okay. I'm going to give you four things of why why somebody would succeed at this and, and you know maybe why wouldn't you. Okay. Um, number one, I decided right away, a decision. I made a decision. If you watched my video yesterday, I told you how desperate I was. In my brain, there was zero failing. I had to do this for my family. Yes, I was terrified. I had zero experience. I had no clue what I was doing, but I had the right mindset without even realizing it. In my brain, I thought to myself, okay, I just looked at the, I, was, I did my little research, I saw that people in my company, the top people, made a lot of money, more money than I could even fathom, okay? So a lot of people made, and I thought to myself, okay, if it takes me 10 years to make even a tenth of what the top earners are making, that is still far more than I can ever do even as a teacher, and certainly, more than I can do being a stay-at-home mom, barely struggling, you know, barely being able to get groceries. So that is kind of how I thought of it as. Now, I just, something clicked in my brain and I just thought, okay, even if I can just do a little bit, like, so I, in my brain, I, I was like, I'm giving this 10 years. I'm, I'm giving it 10 years, no matter what it takes. Now, I'm not gonna let it cost my family money because I couldn't. I opened a totally separate bank account 
um, because my thing was I will not spend money if I don't make the money. I will not do that. I highly recommend you do not do that. Now, yes, initially I, I joined, I did the joining fee and I got my first month's products. But after that, in my brain, I was not going to spend unless I made the money to cover it. That was my own personal thing. However, I've heard other people say that, but in my brain, I would not give up, okay? So that's the difference. So the, the decision, okay? So when I was deciding, I had to decide a couple of things. Number one, I'm not giving up. Number two, I have to make time for it, okay? So I was a really busy mom. I had three little kids. They were one, three, and five at the time. And my husband worked at that point. He had just gotten a new job and he was gone usually till about seven, sometimes eight o'clock at night. And I was homeschooling, okay? That is the definition of busy right there. Yes, it was. But in my brain, I just blah, I knew I had to work. So I made a decision that I was gonna work from nine o'clock at night to 11 o'clock at night. Those were my work hours and I was giving up Downton Abbey. Like, that's what I was giving up. My big sacrifice was television. I love TV. After the kids would go to bed, I just wanted to veg and watch TV. Well, instead of watching TV, I was gonna work my business. That was my, so I had to make that decision of when I was gonna work, so that's what I did. Um, now, some people think they're working, but they're not always working, so I, I'm gonna tell you how. Like, I actually did work during those two hours. Um, so, okay, so that's that. Sometimes I got off balance, that's another video. I'll explain how, how I worked that out. Another time that I did work, though, this is, this is literally my schedule, okay? I would make one post in the morning. Um, a lot of times I did a video, I don't know, or just whatever, I did a post. I did, um, then at, from two to three o'clock, I followed up with people. So from two to three o'clock, that's when my two littlest were napping and I put a movie in for my oldest. And without any mom guilt, I told him, unless you are bleeding or dying, mommy is working. So isn't it wonderful that mama doesn't have to go away to work all the time? Mama gets to work right here. We played all afternoon, we did this, we did that. Now's mommy's work time, okay? And then when we went for ice cream or did something special, I'd be like, yay, this is this wonderful. Mama has this extra money because we're working and I would make it a family thing. So I know some mamas, I've heard this excuse so many times, oh, I don't want it to get interfere with family time. It doesn't have to. If it is, then that's something you have to work out. And again, that's another video for balance. Okay, and I did get off at balance, but I'll address that another time. Okay, but so anyway, that was my decision. I decided I'm going to do it, I will not quit, and here's the time that I'm gonna do it, okay? Once I got that, now what does that look like? What do those two hours or that hour look like? So let me tell you this, okay? I took action, that's what I did. I took action. Um, so I know this is where a lot of people get hung up. They're nervous of what people think about them. Well, in my brain, I thought, my kids need out of this trailer and we need out. So I wasn't looking to harass anyone. I really wasn't. I'm sorting, okay? So truly, I'm just being honest and let me, again, I'm gonna make another video of the mistakes I made. I did make tons of mistakes and the way I work now is not the same as I worked in the beginning because I've learned to use a system. I've learned how to do different things with personal development, that's another point. But in this time frame, when I was, um, building my business, and I'm still building my business, I would reach out to people. I see Janelle, hey Janelle. I would say, and Janelle, I probably did harass her because she's my best friend, so that doesn't count. But I did, I think I called her, Janelle, we gotta do this, this is amazing. Amber lost 50 pounds and she made $1,100 and I have no idea if this stuff works and I don't know, but all I know is I'm miserable and I need you to do this with me. And I really did, I called people. Now, Janelle was so sweet and she actually did join me right in the beginning because she loves me, but many people said no. That's okay, I was surprised. I was like, really, you don't want to? Okay. Um, now, I did, make, I did make mistakes, okay? I don't do this anymore, but um, I did. <laughs> Sorry, let me tell you a funny story. This is, this is funny, okay. <sighs> this is probably the craziest mistake I made. And ladies, if you're listening, I apologize. I think I already did apologize, okay. So I was in a group, like a, a group, uh, Facebook group of girls that I played a bunko with. So these are basically my only friends here in Tampa. There's about 12 to 18 of us in this group, girls I went to church with. I had already left this church though by the time I started Plexus. And um, <laughs> so I wrote this post and I said, girls, 
I just found the most amazing thing in the whole world. My friend lost all this weight and she made all this money. And so I want three of you to join under me. And then the next three I'll put under you and then I'll put you under you. And then we're all going to be rich and we're all going to go to Hawaii and we're going to have Lexuses and this is going to be amazing. How many do you think joined me right then and there? Eventually, eventually some did, and eventually they tried the products. But with something like that, no. There's a mistake most people make, okay? You start blubbering and sharing all these things that you really have no idea about, right? I literally described a pyramid scheme to my friends. <laughs> they were like, uh, Amy, what in the world? Uh, no, we're not doing that. So thankfully, I didn't give up, and I learned as I went. And so here's what I do now, okay? I do not blubber all over people anymore, okay? I did in the beginning. I, I messaged, I literally messaged, I'm not joking with you, in those two to, two to three hours, I probably messaged 30 to 40 people a night. Yes, a night. Why? Because I wanted out of my trailer and this was really important to me and that's why in the beginning. Now, if they said no, no worries. I see James is watching, hey James. Um, if I said, if they said no, okay, no worries. Do you know anybody who might be interested? And then I, I'm sorted. I'm sorting. Okay. I'm just looking for those interested. That's what I was doing. If they didn't say no, I'd be like, what? Why? But this is the best. No, I don't do that. I didn't do that then. I don't think. Now, sometimes it's the hardest part is once my belief really grew and I knew that I knew that I knew that somebody could use this, um, these products or this business that killed me, especially when you know someone who's phenomenal and they're they're talking about, you know, they have no money or they're suffering and you know you have the answer. Oh, that's so hard. It is so hard to keep your mouth shut. But I really do try to respect people um, and just invite. That's all I'm doing. Yes or no, yes or no. I'm just looking for those who say yes. That's it. But guess what? You've got to go through a lot of no's in order to get yes. So during those two hours when I was working my business, I was literally just reaching out to people and asking if anybody was interested. Now, on the other side, I was doing Facebook videos before lives were cool, before and lives were even existing. I did, I put videos out there and I just put myself out there. That's the third thing, okay? I put myself out there. Um, I had no idea what I was doing, none at all. Um, I had every excuse like I told you. Um, I didn't wait till I know what I was doing. I didn't because I didn't know what I was doing and I did a lot of things wrong. But I put myself and really here's the key and here here's the key you guys. I shared my story. That's it. I really did make a video. I think my first night I put it on there. I recorded it, put it on YouTube and I said, I have no idea if this stuff works. I don't even know. I just know that my friend lost 50 pounds and these other friends are saying they don't crave sugar. I can't stop going to Dunkin Donuts. And she said she could pay her mortgage and we don't even have money for like gas and food. So anyone else want to do this with me? Like, why don't we try? If we don't love it, whatever, let's, we'll get a refund, but why not try this with me? I kind of just was very vulnerable and very honest and I shared my story and I kept sharing and sharing. The day I got my stuff, I made a video. I messed, I messed it up. I, I put the stuff in there and I, it overflowed a little and I was like, oh, oh goodness. It's the first time I did it. And I was like, oh, this actually tastes good. Like, that's what I did. I kept sharing my story and I kept inviting people on the journey with me and people were watching. And so I actually did have a lot of people reach out to me within, I mean, they still do. They literally still do. Just yesterday I had somebody reach out to me that had been watching me for, I think this whole time. So people started reaching out to me because I started sharing on social media. Now again, Things are a little different now. I share differently than I did then. I definitely looked like an ad back then, and I would say, don't do that, okay? Um, but in the beginning, that's what I did. I put myself out there. And so here's the fourth thing, and this will be the end, okay? I educated myself. That is probably the most important thing. Um, what I did in the beginning doesn't actually work too much now. Things are different. I had to grow as social media changed and as my company changed and as I changed and as my team changed, I had to change with them. So I have to learn as I go. Um, I'm constantly pouring into my education. I was at an event just this past weekend learning how to be a better leader and how to learn and use social media better. I mean, just like when I was a teacher, I went to school for four years. I did my student um, teaching. I did all these things 
to further my education. And I think the thing is, here's the mistake people make. They want to do it, but they're not investing in their education. They just, they think of it kind of as a hobby. Um, they're embarrassed to tell their friends or family. I don't know why. Uh, oh, well, I do know why. I shouldn't say that because you're afraid of what people think of you. I cared more about the future of my family at that point than what people thought of me. I just did. And I think that was a huge blessing for me. Um, did I have people be mean here and there? Yeah, probably. But you know what? I had far more people tell me thank you for sharing. Far more. It's, it's not even... Did I annoy some people? Yes, absolutely. Did I let that stop me? Never. Never. How can I let that stop me when I'm seeing lives change, health changes? I mean, so many of my own family members and friends who are off medications, who now have energy to sleep, um, and I'm sorry, who now have energy to be with their kids, sleeping through the night. I mean, I can list hundreds of things. So how can I say, guys, I'm sorry, I can't share with you anymore because so-and-so is annoyed. I'm sorry. I, I don't, my goal is not to annoy anyone but I don't let that stop me. I care too much about those it's helping. And it, honestly, if somebody's annoyed, they could just keep on scrolling. If somebody gets mad at me, then they're probably not my real friend anyway. Um, so no, I don't wanna harass anyone. Um, that's not my goal. But anyway, in educating myself, I'm constantly learning people skills. That's what it is. It's people skills. And it's the personal growth that's come. It's the communication skills. It's it's just so much, and it's your mindset though. So you wanna know how I know if someone's gonna be successful or not? And unfortunately, it's kinda of rare. It's your attitude. It's your attitude and your mindset. Nothing else matters. I don't care if you have the most influence in the whole world. Now yes, if Oprah joined my team, she'd probably be diamond tomorrow because she could probably just say it and everybody would do it, maybe. Maybe if you've got that influence, maybe that does help for sure. But I can't tell you how many people that joined my team and I was so excited because they have got all this influence. They've got 5,000 friends and they do this and they do that, but they don't have the belief and they don't reach out or maybe they've got a really bad attitude. Bad attitude is the biggest killer. The biggest killer. If someone has a yucky attitude, like truthfully, when somebody reach out to me, reaches out to me and I look and I look at their pages and they're just a bunch of negativity um, or complaining. I don't, those aren't people that I really want to invest in. I'm just being honest. Now, I'll share that with them. I'll say, can I give you some honest feedback? Now, I've had a few people, like I could probably think of three or four, that I've given some honest feedback and they've taken it because they wanted a change. And those people have grown and done really well. Um, so that's what it is. It's your, it's your mindset and your attitude that has everything to do with if you're gonna succeed or not. And the problem is, I think it, the reason why most people fail at network marketing is because they don't give it a real chance. That's why. I mean, a lot of people join for a discount and they just don't take it seriously. They don't put forth the effort. Um, but if you put forth the effort and you take time to learn, oh my goodness, um, Sarah Robbins is a, um, she's with a different company, but she is a network marketer trainer that I really love. I've read her book. And she said, do you know that 95%, 95% of people who stick with their network marketing company uh, or career um, and they're actively working in, okay? Now, I don't just mean they're just hanging out and not work. Obviously, if you don't show up for work, you don't get paid, okay? You do have to put forth work. Um, but those who, who put forth effort and, and work 95% of them will reach the top of their company, 95%. And although I think I am in the best of the best of the best companies, I really believe that, um, I know that there are other amazing companies out there and other incredibly amazing people who have done really well in this industry because they have overcome a lot of fears and courage and they put themselves out there and they've got the best mindset and that's what it takes. Honestly, if you have a good um, attitude and you think you can do it and you want it, I can work with that. We have an easy system um, that, I mean, we just, you follow the system and you do what you're supposed to do. The problem is not everybody wants to do that and that's okay. This isn't for everybody. And you know what, if you join our team or if you're my friend or something, I have lots of friends who do not do this with me 
and I'm still their friend and it's okay. It's not for everyone, I get it. I'm not looking to convince somebody who's not interested. I'm literally looking for people who are interested so that I can teach them and train them the way um, you know that I've been trained, follow the system and just have a life that they design or dream. I, I really do try to meet people where they're at, no matter what their goal is. So that is it. I hope that answers your question a little bit because I know sometimes you see all these posts and happy things and like, oh, wow, look what all they're doing. But you were like, how? How, how, how? I will tell you, it's not luck. There's the other thing. It's not luck. It's, it's almost offensive when someone says, you're so lucky, you get this. No, I'm not lucky. I've just not given up and I've worked really hard and I've followed our system and I've reached out like a mad woman and I've followed up with people and I've poured into personal development and people skills. And guess what? I still have a really long way to go. A really long way to go. But you don't give up, you keep going. So anyway, if you have any specific questions about that, please reach out, ask. Um, yeah, just let me know how I can be a help to you. And if there's something that I did not answer and you want to know, I'm an open book, okay? So have a great afternoon, you guys. And uh, yes, Michelle, it is. But you know what? So, so worth it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.